So I've been asked quite a bit in the past, what pick do I use, especially in, you know, videos relating to alternate picking or pentatonic runs or anything like that. And uh, I just wanted to make a video that clear the air, what I what pick I use, or at least what I'm thinking when I'm choosing a pick for different things. Um, and as far as alternate picking goes, I go back to, I saw an old video of Guthrie Govan back in the day, and he basically said the typical guideline is a very pointy pick, so there's, you know, less surface area to, you know, be picking across, and also one that doesn't move when it hits the strings. I usually find that's around at least one millimeter uh, thick, where it doesn't bend at all when you're picking. Um, but what I found, and typically that's kind of brings you into the Jazz 3 size, which I don't have it on hand, but you know, Jazz 3, something about this size usually. And um, I think these work great for, you know, specifically picking bass stuff. <laughs> over the years is choosing your pick only because it makes you alternate pick faster and better. Um, I just, to me, I didn't kind of relate to that because if you're playing a song, 75 to 90% of the song is rhythm playing. And I just found for me personally, and this is, everybody's different, the Jazz 3 shape, the size is so small. I just find when I'm playing <laughs> rhythm, I kind of my fingers end up running into the strings. It's not comfortable now for like a fast run, of course. Like, it's absolutely amazing. So, what I've found to be the case, like the best thing, balance both is I need a pick that's full size relatively and preferably doesn't bend at all, at least one millimeter. If not, like a 1.14 is a good range. This pick uh, in particular, is, it's kind of strange. It's made by a company called Jucato Picks. And this thing is like five millimeters thick, which I'm gonna get back to later. I think th there's something I wanna add about that size and that thickness and where it can be very useful. Um, for me though, I kind of ended up for years, I was using I think these, they call these jumbo jazz threes type deal. This is 1.14, so it's, you know, when it hits the string, it doesn't bend, but it also has a sharp point there, so it's easy to get across the string. Uh, but it's a full size, so I can hold on for rhythm playing. <laughs> As you saw in the title, I said, is this the best guitar pick? And I'm not referring to that pick. I'm actually, this is the pick I've been using for the last almost two years, if not two years, I can't remember, but I've been using this blue chip TD45, which is completely traditional picks shaped. Um, doesn't move at all, no bend to it, but it does have that normal, normal tip to it. Why I kind of settled on this pick, and I kind of want to try one of their um, pointier picks. I haven't tried one yet. Something about, this is a very expensive pick, so I, I, I do recommend trying out expensive picks if you can. Like this pick is, I think $35, which is kind of insane. But I will say, I've had this pick for a year and it hasn't wore down at all. The It comes kind of pre-worn in and it literally hasn't worn at all. I've played hours and hours a day, totally fine. But why I've kind of settled on this is, and I kind of threw out the like the pointy tip thing when it comes to finding the best pick. For me, at least, like I said, some guys love the Jazz 3, super tiny, super thick and pointy. Uh, I've seen a lot of people love these uh, since they've came out, these kind of more jumbo Jazz 3. Those are awesome. I enjoy those too. I just find... If I'm choosing a pick on something, like I, I was thinking in my mind, okay, I might solo in a song 10% of the song, right? Maybe, right? How much of that do I need the best pick for alternate picking? Like typically in a solo, you're not the whole time just going. Like, like you're not doing that, you know, mo most of a solo is gonna be like. And then 
maybe like a you know a moment like so maybe one percent of the time uh in actual music would you need a pick that's like perfectly designed for alternate picking like that one might be um and so i feel like choosing a pick on that is it just doesn't make sense to me i'm just like it doesn't make sense to choose the pick um uh, that you use one percent of the time it makes you the best one percent of the time i just i find that's kind of weird i choose the pick that helps me most of the time so like this kind of style pick the more traditional pick i find it's great for rhythm for me at least you know i'm playing funky <laughs> stuff with a bunch of delay on right now but you know even if it's like, if it's like a blues super comfortable it's a you know like a full size pick um i really like how it glides on the strings actually for rhythm playing like i find the pointy tip like this is more of a full size pick but it has that that tip on there i find it's it's too per like i hear the notes too clearly in a way which is it sounds weird why that would be a bad thing Like this, it kind of uh, it's a little bit more mellow. It gives me a little bit more. I can kind of get that very precise pick sound out, but I can also get I can angle it, and because of the the roundness of the tip, I can get a very soft mellow. you know if i had a, a pointier pick and i do that it's still gonna want to pop the note out too much for me right it's too for for what i'm going for it's too clear so i was like okay maybe i like that for alternate picking and it feels comfortable for that but there's a lot of other things about playing guitar that it's not at least ideal for me to say, especially enough to say it's, you know, the best pick to get. Also, another amazing thing about these picks, they don't wear down, which I think I said, but like literally day to day, grabbing a pick that doesn't wear down, especially when it comes to fast runs. I found with these, you know, I, I get used to how it feels. And then say a week later, the picks wore down, I pick it up. I, it feels like a different pick. Like the technique I was using previously has to be altered, a, you know, a slight bit to do the same thing because the, the picks wore down, it's not as pointy. This, keeping its like shape and never wearing down is always, I just know when I pick it up, I'm good to go. I know what to expect. And so the le like level of consistency with alternate picking has kind of improved with me. You know, sticking with this pick. That kind of mellow stuff, I just feel like I can't do. Especially some, here's another one. This is uh, from that same brand. Awesome picks. I'm gonna get to these picks here in a second. Why I think these picks are useful. Um, but this is a super thick pick. It's a full size, but it's still got that point. But it's got a different sound on the strings. It's not what I'm typically wanting. And like I said, in music, you're playing rhythm. Uh, and even if you're soloing, you know, nine times out of 10 when you're soloing, you're not playing fast runs the whole time. So I, don't, I think choosing the best pick for that is kind of it, it, not the right thing to do, in my opinion. So even when I'm soloing, I just know I can mellow it out. I can't do that with the, the, the pointed tip. Get a very almost like a jazz box sound going, and then I just change how I'm hitting the pick. I 
don't know, I like that scratchy sound. Um, now I want to get into why I think it is good to have a, you know, a, a pointy pick or something even kind of wild like this where it's super thick and has that point on there. I think it's smart if you're trying to develop alternate picking and build your speed. Like I see Paul Gilbert nowadays using like a 0.60 millimeter pick that's like, I don't have one on hand right now, but it's like just like, it, you can see it literally just flopping around. That is probably the worst pick to start trying to, you know, do speed picking runs with. He can do it, but he's also been doing it for like, 30 40 years and he's got he's got it down i think once you get the skill down you could probably do it on any pick right i don't think it's smart to go grab one of those picks and try to alternate pick like that i am actually a big fan of when you're sitting down to practice alternate picking having an alternate picking pick that's literally you f either it's a jazz three style pick like this or maybe a um kind of jumbo jazz three was pointy pick there or something like this whatever it is it's like when you hold, hold this pick it brings the maximum ability out of your alternate picking and that's what you do i love these super thick ones though where i find this great is if you ever have problem with tension building up in your right hand i find because these these picks are so thick and kind of heavy that they just bulldoze the string and it, it trains me personally to be super relaxed and be like, I don't have to do anything. Instead of like, you know, if I had a flimsy pick, I feel like I need to like, like really push through the string. Not that this one's flimsy, but you know, push it through. This thing just wants to bulldoze. It would do it. You could do nothing. Like I get the same sound, like putting my whole like arm into it with that. I get the same sound. Just so it trains a lighter touch, I find, which is fantastic. Also, you get the, the super, you know, pointy tip and you can practice small picking motions for like. <laughs> I'm getting a very, I don't like this pick that much because it's, it's very chirpy. I'm gonna move over to the, uh, move over to this pick. Um, it's a little less chirpy. But with that, that very small tip, I can train small picking motions. I, if, I would use this typically because it bulldozes the strings. It's just kind of making that annoying sound. But it trains that. And then what I find after, you know, practicing with the alternate picking pick, when I go back to my normal pick, if I can grab it, there we go, which is this pick, I find that carryover of the relaxed kind of feel, the smaller picking motions, all that comes together and just makes little bit easier than it normally would right this is not the best alternate picking pick I think it's the best pick for me overall right you know I could do this pick but now I'm gonna get this weird sound get soft with it and mellow with it I, it, can, it can shred great sounds good but I can't have that dynamic going from a mellow to a like a more plucky clear sound the uh, in the video here in my opinion this is the best guitar pick it doesn't bend it lasts a very long time but it also it, it you know i can play good alternate picking fast alternate picking runs on it but also has that it's great for rhythm it's great for different dynamic feels to me when we're talking best pick it can't just be what makes me pick the fastest right because i feel like if it's the pick that makes us pick the fastest, this might be the one that makes us pick the fastest right here but 
it's not good for rhythm. It's not good for, or at least for me, it's not good for rhythm. It's not good for the dynamic uh, response of rhythm and lead ideas. Um, but what I do say is when I'm sitting down to practice, I think this is a great practice pick or say I'm recording a track uh, and I'm, you know, I'm sitting here trying to get a, you know, crazy alternate picking run. I'll whip out this because I know it's going to make it that little bit easier to, you know, get the recording done where I, this pick's going to be, you know, take me an hour to get it down. This might take me like 10 minutes because the pick is just more, you know, it's designed better for that. But in context of a song live or playing live or whatever, I don't know why I, I would never choose something. I wouldn't choose an amp like for a sound like if, oh, it has the best lead sound. But if I'm playing rhythm 95% of the time that, you know, I should be choosing what's the best rhythm sound. Um, so the same thing with a pick. I think that's the best pick. That's the best pick for me. A pick that lasts a very long time. It doesn't wear down. It, it is good for rhythm. It's good for dynamic lead playing. And it also can... It can, you know, do alternate picking stuff pretty well. It's not the best at it, but it, we're kind of finding a balancing, balancing act between everything. On the other hand, you know, this is like, to me, this is all alternate picking. This is like 100% alternate picking is amazing, does it great, but it lacks in a lot of the other areas. I find, for me, this is the best pick. It has the most balance for everything. Rhythm, lead, shredding, all that kind of stuff. Um... It's light, like, you know, this pick is super thick and bulky. It's hard to, if you ever want to move it around in your hands for different grips and things like that, it's just kind of awkward. This thing has a, it's, it's, it's just thick enough. It's not too thick where it's thick enough where it doesn't bend, but thin enough where it's still light and easy to maneuver. So in my opinion, I, I am not trying to sponsor blue chip picks or something like that, but I would give it a shot. Um, and but also keep that in mind, you know, it's okay to have an alternate picking pick. It's okay to have a rhythm pick. It's okay to have a find that balance like that middle ground, which to me this pick is of its good rhythm and its good lead. You know, it's not the best rhythm pick. I, I don't have one right now in on my desk, but you know, usually even a thinner pick I would prefer for rhythm stuff. But this has the but those if I did a fast alternate picking run I would feel lost because it's just flopping around <laughs> I don't know how Paul Gilbert does it it's kind of wild but that's the best balancing overall pick have it I just think having that mindset when you're trying to find the right pick uh, this might be great in this area but is it lacking in the rhythm area is it lacking in the dynamic area where is it you know where's it kind of sit and it's to me it's totally okay to have a pick designed for rhythm pick design for lead and then or like shredding and then a pick that kind of sits in the middle that's like your go-to that does a little bit of everything you're comfortable it's not perfect for alternate picking it's not perfect for rhythm but it's a good balance um so i'd recommend finding that for me it was not having a super pointy pick and um or too thick of a pick either just thick enough where it doesn't move and then i, I just went very traditional with the the tip i just found the dynamics was i don't, I don't want to lose the dynamics that that kind of that that pick gives me if i feel if i go too shreddy i'm losing that dynamic and feel which i'm doing most of the time like it's very small clips that i might be doing these crazy runs right that's not all of guitar playing anyways uh that's all and uh, i'll see you guys back soon with another video